Yo guys, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. My name is Jason. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another updated video regarding the whole Pokemon videos. Now, they've actually did already release version 3.5, which we're going to include in this video. Big shout out to everybody that's been commenting in the last couple of videos. I know there's been a lot of confusion regarding this topic, but with each video, I definitely have been trying to improve the process. It's definitely been a pretty interesting, crazy ride. I want to say that actually this is my first time modding the game. So guys, I'm kind of still new to this, but you know, I am really enjoying TCG Card Shop Simulator. So when I heard about Red Hex's mod and I actually tried it out for myself and got it to work, I definitely want to, to jump in and try to help others, which we definitely have been doing. So that alone just makes all this worthwhile and worth doing. So yeah, we're gonna be doing an updated video to hopefully, you know, take things a little bit slower and try to do everything from scratch, deleting the game, deleting the files, deleting the files I already have downloaded regarding the mods. So we can actually download it in real time to show you guys so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It really does go a long way and I really do appreciate it. I play a bunch of variety of cool games, horror games. We live stream, all that good stuff. So I'd like to have you here with the little community that we got going on. But with that said, let's jump right into the video. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is bring up Steam, of course, because this part right here is going to be the part that is going to go out to the people that have already been trying to download the mod. So you might have some files in here that you don't want so what we're going to go ahead and do is right click mouse right here go to manage and then we're going to go to browse local files now the first thing that we're going to go here is go to common which is right here you guys can see it on top right here this is common so we're in this folder right here and we want to look for tcg card shop simulator and we're going to go ahead and delete this bam so that's done now, the next thing we want to go ahead and do is manage and uninstall. So we're going to uninstall the game. Boom, it's uninstalled. We're good to go. So the next thing that I'm going to do is actually reinstall it. Shouldn't take long. Hit that there. It'll download quick. And we're actually going to boot up the game so you guys can see for yourselves that we are going to be starting with a fresh game. So you guys can see that as we do this and once we're done with the process, you guys can see that, yeah, we really did actually get it to work so let's actually start it up i'll get that going and boom there it is we're back to the original game right here tcg card shop simulator we're gonna go load the game boom and it's all tetramon there is no pokemon in here so you guys can see for yourselves so there it is we're back to the original game my music is low right here i'll put that up so there it is, guys. So you guys can see that I am not showing any funny business. That is done. All right. The next thing that we are going to do is, of course, we have everything deleted. The game is freshly installed, fresh wipe, all that good stuff. Now, the next thing that we want to go ahead and do is go to the website itself, which, again, I'll have it linked down below. And a shout out to Red Hex for actually getting this mod to work. Now, we need three files, of course. The ones that I have been showing the Pokemon. Now we are on 3.5. Now, the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is open tabs for Bepin EX and Texture Replacer. So we'll go ahead and open these on a different tab. Bam, bam, bam. That's getting, that's going. Now we're at Bepin. So we're going to, we're going to install this. So manual download. Again, you guys want to make sure you have an account with this website because it won't let you download files if you aren't signed in. So nothing too crazy. Slow download. This will pop up a couple seconds for it to start downloading. So bam, that's downloading. Then we'll head over to Texture Replacer. We'll go to Files and we're going to download the 1.0.0 file. Again, hit download, slow download. This will pop up, giving you a couple seconds to Wait for the process to start and then boom, we'll go over to the right here corner and these are installed and ready to go. We'll go back to the main one right here and we'll go up, we'll go to files and then we'll download version 3.5, which is the latest one. And you guys want to make sure you guys are keeping up to date with these updates because they are, of course, fixing bugs, adding new things like I believe the last two updates 3.4 and 3.5 have added like different plushies and they actually 
change the dices to be pokeballs ultra balls all that cool stuff so make sure you guys want to stay up to date with these updates which i'll show you a bonus tip towards the end how to stay up to date with that stuff so let's download this version download slow download that's going to start up in a couple seconds again this is going to be a little of a longer video just because i want to show you guys everything from beginning to end so we have no confusion or anything like that so that's going to download right there now while that one actually downloads i'm going to minimize this screen we're going to open up files here and go to downloads and then right here is where your stuff is now these are zipped folders you guys want to make sure you guys extract these folders now i'm going to extract them right now we're going to start with bepin ex we're going to right click mouse right here we're going to extract all so you can just name these whatever you want i'm just going to extract them as is make it easier on me and i like to just back out i i know there's different ways of doing this guys but this is just my way i like to just back out here grab the unzipped folder right here and we're gonna put it right there boom that's done it's a done deal we can actually open it and these are gonna be the files that we're actually gonna be copying over in a moment same thing we're gonna open texture replacer we're gonna extract it so bam we're gonna open that open that up extract there it is that's extracted texture replacer folder right here guys that's gonna be the second thing that we're gonna do now let's actually wait for the actual mod to download so we can continue the process here which right here is gonna take three minutes to download so this one's a little bit of a longer download but nothing too crazy all right guys the file is downloaded there it is pokemon tcg 3.5 same thing we're gonna get that extracted extract that one is going to take a little bit longer because there is a lot of files in here 576 items so that's gonna get going <clears throat> bam 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 oh that's done and then we're gonna drag that right there that's the three files that we do need now first thing to business here is we're gonna open up the Beppin EX pack and we're gonna copy these items right here. This folder, these folders. We're gonna copy that. Let's bring up Steam here. We're gonna go to TCG Card Shop Simulator and then we're gonna go to Manage and Browse Local Files. Now, right here, guys. All you have to do is I'm just going, I'm bringing up my mouse right here to the right side and then I'm clicking right mouse click in. It's going to bring this up and all I'm going to do here is just paste it. So we're just pasting that right here in this folder. So again, I'm going to back out. I'm going to open this up just so you guys again, I'm going to browse the local files and then right when that opens, you just go to the right here. Just hit right mouse click in and then just paste the folder and they'll be pasted right here. Straightforward and simple. Nothing too crazy. We're going to back out so you guys can see that I backed out. We're done here. I'm going to close this. We're going to leave Steam open and then we're going to go to Texture Replacer and we're going to copy this whole folder right here. Put that to the side. We're going to go back to Steam. Open this back up. Manage. Browse local files. We're going to open up the Beppin EX folder that we just put in. We're going to go back to plug. We're going to go to plugins. And then right here, same thing. I'm just going to click right mouse in. We're going to paste it right here. There it is. It's pasted in there. We're going to back out. That's done. Now, the last step is going to the Pokemon folder right here. Copying this folder. We're going to copy that folder. We're done here so we can close that up. Let's bring this fully up. Now, the next step here is, again, go back here manage browse local files now from here i'm actually going to open up this window full here so you guys can see what you want to go ahead and do this is very important is go on top right here we have program files we have steam steam apps common you guys want to go to common all right rank common now right here as well same thing i'm just putting this off to the side i'm hitting right mouse click in and i'm put pasting it right here so it's going to paste right here it's going to tell you if you guys want to replace some of these items now you guys want to hit replace the files in the destination boom it's going to replace them and that's done guys pretty much you can just close that up we can launch the game and it should be ready to go we're modded pretty straightforward and nothing crazy 
hopefully this does work for you guys so you guys can see we started with the game fresh we deleted everything we, we downloaded the files the mods we installed them the game should be working as intended so you guys can see is gonna boot up right now there it is you guys can tell pokemon by red hex everything is good to go we can load up the game we'll jump right in here loading up and there it is guys you guys can hear the music the banner changed outside pokemon center again hashtag not affiliated with actual pokemon company or nintendo so that's pretty cool we go in this is my shop you guys can see we have the boxes we have the packs that's pretty cool we can just put that back we can open up the phone everything is here we go to the figures they're all here pretty cool accessories and there it is guys straightforward that's how you install the pokemon hopefully this video helps you guys now i do want to give you a quick tip right here before we actually head on out now for future updates to the game i'm gonna go back to the website over here now again we are in version 3.5 as you guys can see but of course the game is actually going to keep getting updated by the actual developers of tcg card shop simulator and when that happens of course the red hex developer has to come back and update the game itself and of course he's going to be improving upon the game itself so let's say version 3.6 comes out 3.7 depending on when you guys watch this video i'm going to give you guys a quick tip to just you know keep updating the game without no problem so again this is version 3.5 but let's just say hypothetically that this is already version 3.7 or whatever all you're gonna do is come back here you're going to download this file you're gonna go back to files here you're gonna go to the latest version let's just say again it's 3.7 you're gonna hit manual download you'll download it and once that once that downloads all you're gonna have to do is open that folder back up this is the folder for 3.5 but again this let's just say it's 3.7 you're gonna open this up you're going to copy that same folder. You're going to copy it. You're going to go back to Steam. And you're always just going to go to the TCG Card Shop Simulator, Manage, Browse Local Files. And you're always going to go, again, you're going to go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps. And then you go to Common. I want to make iterate this because some people did get confused and didn't know where I was going right here, guys. You see my mouse cursor right here right here common you click in and all you have to do is hit right mouse click right here on the side and then you paste those files right there and it'll tell you you want to replace the files you'll replace them and there it is guys load the game back up and you're pretty much good to go you're set and you can just enjoy the game for yourself again guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this one was more clear and helps more of you guys out really do appreciate you guys subscribing hitting that like button it goes a long way and until the next one i'll catch you guys later peace out yeah yeah